Drivers, start your engines. NASCAR's Xfinity Series going green at Sonoma Raceway. Turn two, how do you feel about that, guys? Well, I think a lot of these guys are learning that there is a huge checkup when you get to turn two. So uh, for many of them, that's the first time that they've been up there, and it happens again as you get up here to the top of the hill in 3A. So the first laps here are always pretty tough, and you got to take care of the front of your race car to make sure you don't get a lot of damage. Yeah, I think that next stack is coming up here in turn seven, as Coleman talked about. A lot of opportunities, really wide entry into one of the slickest corners on the racetrack. Eric Albarola making his second start, 2023 in an Xfinity car, driving the 28, fast in qualifying, good in the race, gets by Allgaier for that runner-up position. We've been green so far. We did have a couple of cars off the track when we were away. Not enough to produce a caution. Joe Graff Jr. turn four. Mm -hmm. There it goes down the hill. And when you leave turn four, you drive down to turn seven. That's where his teammate Ryan Sieg had a problem. Connor Mozak, 24, 02, Blaine Perkins, and behind them, maybe a little help for Sieg, huh? <laughs> like a little bit of Two to go on the stage, and neither one of those drivers in position to get stage points, and that's worth mentioning because they're 1-2 in the regular season standings coming in to today's oh. race. Ross Chastain into John Hunter Nemechek. He goes around in turn 11. Mark that one down for later in the race. And I always feel like this is a racetrack where experience can gain you positions because knowing what your car is going to do or that it's not going to handle very good and all the things that, that come with that, uh, come with this particular racetrack, you can put your car in the right spot and make time just by putting it in the right spot and knowing the history of the track. And I think that's what was making Cole, helping Cole go forward. Final lap of the stage, two drivers that need stage points right around the cut line. Sam Mayer, Parker Kligerman getting after it. Seventh and eighth on track. Here's Larson. Turn four down to turn seven. Got to report the 98 of Riley Herbst decided to make a pit stop. Got to believe that's a strategy play. So do we think that's a, a three-stop strategy? Is that is that how that adds up here? Well, you, you definitely could make it on one more stop from here. So that could be a, a two-stop, but maybe they are thinking divide it more into thirds uh, in, in pit three different times and take advantage of all those tires. M most crew chiefs told me they feel like the winning strategy is pit twice unless there's a late caution, and then you come and get that third set of tires. Kyle Larson leads wire to wire. He wins stage one. A.J. Allmendinger is second. Eric Almirola is third. His pit road entry. Three red all the way around. His pit road entry is pretty difficult because pit no, road speed isn't until no, all the way yeah, in the curve. No, spit, no pit road speed right here until you get to this, this yellow line over here. See him put his hand up right he there. He can't even see it because yeah. the wheel's in front of the tack. Might be the sun as he came around that corner. I wondered about the sun being a factor as late in the day as we're running this race here in Sonoma. Custer is in as our race leader Kyle Larson hits turn seven, comes down through the S's. Pole sitters led 38 laps today, won the opening stage, and appears unless something goes drastically wrong, he's going to get the sweep. A nine-second advantage over second place A.J. Allmendinger. Well, and, and the guys on the 17 have a huge strategy to window to work in right here. They can be as reactive as they want to be with a nine second gap to have on even fresher tires than the rest of the field. The only threat they have is if another caution comes out and would, would trap them outside. So uh, I think they're just going to react on when the car's behind them pit and make sure they have, you know, they can have a five lap tire advantage and still probably not lose the lead. Larson, win stage one, win stage two at Sonoma. 19 to go. We have our second caution of the day at Sonoma. It's the DoorDash 250 for NASCAR's Xfinity Series. Jeffrey Earnhardt went for a ride. Yeah, so as this race goes through turn 10 right there, there just winds up being a lot of debris. And, and um, 
really, if you if you miss your entry and you wind up a little bit too wide, it's almost impossible to get the car back in the groove. He's fourth. Austin Hill in the top five again. What's going on with Brandon Jones? Check this out. Yeah, I saw the dirt out of the side of the booth, and it's just so hard to go through the S's right there side by side. And you see Jeb Burton bounce off the curb and get up into Brandon Jones and spin him through the dirt. Well, if Eric can keep getting off a of turn 8A like he is right now, but this is his distance where he's at a disadvantage right there. He enters shallow. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Larson. Whoa, whoa. Way wide. What happened there? A.J. Allmendinger comes by and gets second where Larson had a problem. I wonder if, like, power steering went out or... Let's go back and look as Larson's going for the top spot. Oh, you see he does the left it. front tire. You see the left front. Did you see the left front he tire? He had the tire bundle. Yeah. We were, we were looking at two different things. You were looking at the left front tire. I was looking yeah. at the tire bundle. He had yeah. the tire bundle and something happened. Yeah. Well, it must have been from hitting the tire bundle. Flag is out. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Next flag will end the race. Less than two miles to victory lane for Eric Almirola. Talk about his son. I, I really enjoy seeing him at the racetrack because it reminds me of going to IndyCar races with my dad. Because I, I would talk to every driver, give him a high five, talk to him, enjoy being there. And I think that's what makes it fun fun for Eric coming to the racetrack. Well, I can tell you that will be the highlight of the day for Eric is to see his kids. And I saw his wife Janice uh, down in the in the pits earlier. His daughter was at the at the food tent uh, helping helping the chef make food. So. Um, Hopefully Eric brings this around here because I think the celebration will be really cool with his family. You're All trying right. your hardest not to jinx it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying so You're hard. So nervous. Because I know, I know how much this would mean to him, right? Yeah, with, with 100%. everything that you just said. I mean, it would be so, so important and, and cool for him to be able to celebrate with them. RSS Racing started competing in the Xfinity Series 10 years ago. Best finish twice, a second on two different occasions. They're headquartered in Sugar Hill, Georgia. Through turn 11. Good job, Trevor. Thank you. Here's Eric Almirola. The first Xfinity race at Sonoma goes to Eric. He hey, gets no, it done no, in wine hell, country. Yeah. yeah, Eric. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, buddy, who's the man? You are! That's awesome. Eric Almirola, you told me earlier today that you love racing at Sonoma. That's why you jumped at the opportunity to do this double dip. Will you get the win? You hold off A.J. Allmendinger. You hold off Kyle Larson. What does this win mean to you and this team? <laughs> oh, man, this is so special. It's hard to explain. I, I know it's an Xfinity win. It's not a, it's not a cup win, but after Coda, um, I told Davin and Drew, I was like, man, I... I really don't think I should run any more road course races in the Xfinity car. It just, it makes me look like a wanker and uh, I lose self-confidence going into Sunday. But I knew that this racetrack, this is one that I can run good at. I've run good here my whole career. I don't know what it is about this place, but I love racing here. Um, just so thankful, so thankful to everybody uh, on this race team, uh, everybody at SHR and the Xfinity shop. They take on a lot to not only bring their two cars to the racetrack, but to prepare a third car. Uh, so thankful to Mike with Michael Roberts Construction to come on. Uh, without him and, and Largo Concrete, we don't get to run this race. Uh, thankful to Ford, uh, everybody that makes this deal work. Uh, all of our partners, uh, Shady Rays, Pit Boss Grills, uh, First Form, uh, everybody that, that makes this thing go round. Um, it's been a really tough year on the cup side. And to come out here and get a win and get to celebrate, my kids uh, came out. We're going to spend the week in California for our off week, and uh, they're going to get to go to Victory Lane. So that is so special. Uh, the pictures we have at home with our family in Victory Lane uh, mean the most to me. So so excited to uh, to share this Victory Lane here. Uh, also, Camus, we uh, we had a great uh, dinner last night and drank a little bit of Camus wine uh, last night with our team in. in uh, this is uh, this is their hometown, so man, this is awesome! I can't wait to get to Victory Lane. Congrats, Eric.